Welcome back once again. In this part, we will we will check validation for our all input field. So inside our button registration, inside our registration activity, and inside our button registration, we need to first we need to define two string variables. So if so first add two string variable. So string. Email is equal to email registration dot get text dot to string dot trim string pass is equal to pass registration dot get text to string dot trim And now we need to add if condition. So if text details dot is empty email so email registration dot set error we can we can show a message. So set error and we can call it required field. So we can call it required field. And return. And if text utils dot is empty pass and pass registration dot get text dot not get text so pass registration dot set error We can call it required field okay so now I think all done or we can simply return it here so at return so all done for this part we will continue it from our next part